Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use negative painting to recreate a lovely woodland scene. It's suitable for beginners and it's easy to follow along. So let's get started. For this painting I'm using £140 hot press watercolour paper. I've stretched it prior to painting. I've got a video on how to stretch paper properly. This will stop it buckling which can be very frustrating for the beginner in watercolour. There's a link to this video at the top of the screen or down in the video description. I start by spraying the top of the paper with water. This will be the top of my trees where the leaves will be. I then use a brush to put clean water on the bottom of the paper. This is where the snow and the trunks of the trees will be. I now flick paint onto the area that I sprayed at the top of my paper. I'm using blue here because I'm representing a winter scene, but you could use any colour for your leaves. I use my brush to blend the splatters in some areas. I'm now adding more splattering with a second colour into the leaf area. I blend areas like I did before with my brush and clean water. I'm now splattering and blending in a cool pink. I continue to build up the leaf area of the painting with more layers of splattering and blending. Sometimes it helps to bang your brush against another brush. I want to keep the bottom half of the painting as white as I can, so I blend in any stray splatters with water as I go. I also blend in the bottom of the leaf lines with clean water. I now let the painting dry thoroughly before I move on to the next stage. I continue the painting by splattering and blending in the leaf area at the top of the painting and by using negative painting to paint the tree trunks in the bottom area of the painting. I've done a tutorial on negative painting for beginners. There's a link to it at the top of the screen or down in the video comments. I use clean water on my brush to blend areas when I don't want a hard edge to form. Allow to dry thoroughly before moving on. I continue to build up the layers of my tree trunks using negative painting.
Allow to dry thoroughly between layers. I'm using a slightly darker mix of paint to do the negative painting as I go further into the wood. Now that I've painted quite a lot of detail in the bottom half of the painting, when I want to splatter at the top, I cover the bottom half with paper to protect it. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this demonstration tutorial and that you'll give negative painting a try. Thanks for watching.